did you think you'd be the one leaving? I did. I knew. I, I knew they had it. <laughs> they had it in for me. You can feel it. You know, when you're in a room with people and you think, oh, I know. I knew it was me. You know. But I made that big slide at the beginning, and um, I didn't really want to go around and chat individually and go, da, 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 you know, you save me, I'll save you, you do this. I, I couldn't be bothered. I just gave them one big last hurrah and said, if you want to keep me, keep me. And, yeah, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. But, look, the challenge, that was brutal. And JC came out of nowhere, didn't he? Uh, what a little legend. I mean, I had no hope in beating that young boy. So that's why I tried to bluff him a little bit. <laughs> you know, and I really went hard. I thought... I'll be up him. I really, because he was so insane, I was a challenge free, so I started to believe it myself. And um, <laughs> I just I just bluffed him, but it didn't have bluffed out. I didn't know it was quite funny, but, you know, look, he's a great kid, and I'm really proud of him, and he, he just, he must play basketball, because that bloody hoop thing, jeez, oh, Louise. That looks so that hard. That was so frustrating. Uh, it just was like, you know, you wanted to punch yourself in the head. You know, <laughs> you just keep flicking it up, and, it, and you, you, you can't, there's no water, you can't drink, you're thirsty. I just went, just keep going, Lara, head down, head down, or you're going home. Yeah. And, um, yeah, but I went home. Uh, it was looking good there for a bit, though, Lara. You are looking strong. And, look, your fitness. What an, <laughs> I really thank you so much. I, you know what, I haven't been training as hard as I used to. I've just sort of been taking life easy because I've accepted my body. I've gone through so many things, you know, as young girls do today, yeah. with worrying about their figures and stuff. And being in that industry of body figure I got into, it sort of made me have a bit of a dysmorphia. Do you know what I mean? Like, right. I just couldn't see myself. But after watching myself on telly, I'm really proud of myself too, you know. it was, And my kids were all jumping around and telling me how great I am. And you know what? I'm going to cry, but, well, that was what my, but I, um, yeah, it was just nice because that I feel like I've won. To just yeah. be honest with you, because my kids are all so proud of me, and that was that's the best thing of all, you know. Yeah. And that's what you wanted, right? Oh, uh, more than anything, because I've always been, I'm always the one that sort of just says the first thing that comes into their head, and you know, I'm a bit of a scatty with my ADHD, and I try so hard to be like everyone else, you know, and just try to think before I talk, but I don't. And that's what I was so worried about. And I think that's why, you know, people might have thought on the show like a couple of times, because I just couldn't engage in too many conversations I were having because. I didn't want to talk about those things on television because I didn't want to embarrass my children. You know what I mean? Like that you would in a in my salon. You know, I talk about everything, good God. But on telly, I went, no, Lara, come on. You have to move out of that conversation. I think that's why people probably got a bit funny with me. Yeah. yeah. And you, you did say how you sat everyone down to say your piece after the challenge. Did anyone come up to you afterwards to kind of pledge their vote to you or like against? Yes, yeah, Sam. Sam and Drew told me they had their, my back, and so did Gabby. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but it's a game of, it's a game of tonight. I, I, I really hate all that manipulating bitchy little stuff. I didn't realise it was like that. I, I sort of only saw the challenges. I hadn't really watched the show until I was in, um, what do you call it, you know, before you go in, you're in confinement for a, yeah. a week or so in a hotel before you go to the house. And then I started watching it, and I thought, oh, my good God, how am I going to do this? I'm going to... Oh, I just had no idea. And I thought, I can't be like that. You know, you can in certain situations, of course. But, no, oh, I just, that girl I took a sleep a long time ago. I wasn't going to bring all that out again and feel conniving and bitchy. But yeah. I, I had fun, you know. I just was a mum and it was good fun. Yeah. <laughs> I had then, a holiday. Yeah, oh, well, that's the main thing, isn't it? You get to take a bit of a break. <laughs> yeah, and realise my kids weren't that messy, to be honest with you. I've got great kids. I, I thought they were pigs, but gee whiz, these young ones today have got... Because I, I was just walking around going, be respectful, this is Big Brother's house, you know, because of, that's the way I was brought up, you know, be respectful of somebody else's house and property. Oh, no, they were just throwing things everywhere and making a big mess. Yeah, because <laughs> look, so insane. You, you were a bit of a mum in the house. We saw Johnson complain that you were getting frustrated with housemates not making their beds. And was it hard to let that kind of mum side go? It was my OCD, darling. I, I, I've actually got crippling OCD. And I that was the big thing for me to go on the show because I thought, you know what, Lara, I got I want to do so many things in my life. And sometimes I can't even leave the house because I'm so distressed with my OCD and germs oh. and things. And... To be honest, having a shower, and that was a big thing. And my kids thought I was going to embarrass them, you know, like because I would be crying because and have an anxiety attack. But I really pulled, I bared down, and I thought, you know what? You've had four kids, you've read them on your own. Come on, Lara, you can do this. You can get rid of this OCD. And I tell you what, I have improved so much. My kids can notice it. I'm able to do things I couldn't do before. 
And I've even got into a public toilet, and that's something I've never done my whole life. You know, after sitting on the toilet with us, the tread has been sitting on there and everyone else. You know, you had to use them. Sometimes you're in a hurry. It doesn't matter how much paper you put down, if you're still sitting on it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it was. It really helped me with my OCD. I actually think it's one of the best therapies you could have to wow. do that, put yourself in that, the thick of it, you know? Yeah, and you're on telly too. So it was like, come on, Mara, don't, you know, don't embarrass your kids, don't do this, don't do that. And I... And I I feel like it's really, really been an absolutely amazingly positive thing for me to um, be through that. So I'm really happy, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It sounds like it really helped kind of improve that for you. That's really great. Uh, Like a thousand percent it has because I'm doing things that I have never done. I've even like, if I've had a shower, I can't leave the house if I'm going to get into bed normally. You know, and if someone touched it, I have to wash my clothes. It's like, but, you know, that was pretty awesome. And also, I don't know if they told you, but I'm so thankful to Big Brother because he literally saved my life, to be honest with you, because before we went on, you had to have all these um, really vigorous um, health checks. Yeah. And uh, um, a tumor was detected and it had cancer cells in it. Oh, my God. And, um, yeah, I, had, I know. I had an operation before I went in. And, um, yeah, and I was okay. I, I, lots of complications with it. But in the end, I sort of was okay to go in and, you know, but that was, I was struggling with that a little bit because it was still new. Do you know what I mean? And, oh. and but yeah, if it hadn't been for Big Brother and me going on the show, I wouldn't have gone and had a pap me, to be honest with you. And, um, because I just, I'm so healthy. I eat really healthy. I do things and I didn't really think it doesn't get used much there. And I thought, well, you know what? <laughs> it's probably all just sleeping down there. And, um, I'll, um, I'll be right. Yeah. So I'm really thankful to Big Brother and so is my family. So that, that's the one big thing out of it that's pretty amazing, and the OCD. And I got to see myself, like other people say to me, I am, and I don't, I can't see it, but I, I did a little bit. I did on the show. I feel really good about myself. Like I went, wow, I cried. And I thought, good on you, Lara. I was clapping my hands at myself, and I felt really happy. So, yeah, it's been the, the, the most amazingly positive thing for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, if you really, 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 really did enjoy this video, please click on the subscribe button so you can be notified of more videos like these.